Hey everyone, I got a little video for you today on Converter Picks Wrapper. Now, I haven't looked at this product in uh, quite some time. I would probably say a year or so. Uh, it was not as functional as I wished it would be when I came across it. Although, uh, Simon and uh, MWL, I forget his name, have really really pushed the uh, the envelope with this um, and it's really going to help you out if you were doing uh, some quick edits to models. So I'm going to walk you through how to do a quick edit of a model. Here I'm showing you the web page where you can find it. It's on GitHub. All you have to search is converter, converter picks wrapper. Um, the, all the instructions for installing it onto Blender is right here on the main page. It's very straightforward. It's all done in the new version of Blender as you should be using at this point. Um, and you also need SCS Blender tools, which he leaves the link to here. So I will leave that in the description below so you can follow those installation instructions. I also include the installation instructions for SCS Blender tools in my 1000 subscriber special. So go check that out if you have trouble um, with installing Blender tools as well. So let's get into it. There are a couple of features of this that makes the wrapper version of Converter Picks much easier. The reason why is because it imports directly the game's PMD, PMG files instead of having to pre-convert them using Converter Picks. So this completely eliminates the um, issues of having uh, importing files and um, edit and changing them to what you need them to be in order to work with uh, Blender tools inside of Blender. So it's a much it's much simpler for you, the user, especially if you're just going in and doing some quick edits and not building something from scratch. The other way, it, building something from scratch is much more, um, or much easier in the end because you really don't have to convert too much up front. However, I do want to mention to you, if you do not have this set up already in Blender with Blender tools, you should really look into checking all of these items and you can see they're all available in the base files and you will have to change them per version. So um, you will need the SCS extractor, which also, again, I show how to use in my 1000 subscriber special. Um, you need the extractor, the SCS extractor to extract the base and the, def the definition files. And then once you do that, this is going to be a breeze and I'll show you all that. Um, make sure you have have a look at this as well. Um, the shader presets are within the Blender Tools file as a text file. So you want to set that all up. All of this should be set up every time you're doing anything in this. So what we're going to do is we're going to, going to edit a um, bumper for the 3D9. So if we go to SCS Models, Converter Picks, and BT, you'll notice that it sees SCS files. Um, I'm actually going to go in here and do this real quick, because we don't want any of that delete. Okay, so now, um, so you can see here that it sees the SCS file. Also, it notices you in this side, you can use extra archives. So you can have multiple archives loaded at the same time, so you can pick what you need. In this case, I have base SCS because that's going to have files in there that I'm going to require, like, for example, um, all the files that you would have to convert manually in the other way and put them into a 
kind of a base file and then copy them into the truck file and so on and so on. Um, so you want to um, definitely put your base.scs in there. This is going to save you from your vehicle refre reflection tobjs and your interior reflection tobjs. Um, that way it references them directly and does not have to, um, you don't have to have them converted pre-edit. Um, I also put the truck that I'm going to edit. So now you have this as your open part or your rather your SCS that you want to open, import this. Um, I already have it nailed down, but anyway, this is, again, this is both, um, this is both the base and the truck itself. So you'll need to navigate through the directory structure to what you want to edit. So in this case, I want to edit the bumper. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to pick the fourth bumper, bumper 04. There, there's one thing that I want to do to this bumper. I want to make it shaved in the front. Um, this right here is important. The import path will not be um, preserved because of how this pro because of how this tool works. So what you'll need to do, I'll show you on export how to make this work properly for you. So you can close that. Now, I don't have the materials showing, but there they are. Now, you'll see here for the Chrome, it has add NV, which means it uses down here the reflection, um, the vehicle underscore reflection TOVJ, which I did not uh, convert. So it took that from the base in order to be able to show this bumper without any errors. So what I do want to do is I want to remove these and um, so now it's a shaved look with just the lights at the bottom um, just to show you that it did change when we go to the game so um, at this point once you have done this part you're going to have to go through the normal conversion tools on the exporting side so we're going to have to go in here so now you'll see that it put what i'm converting into this folder there's the bumper folder so before this can open it it has to convert it so that's why you already see it there now notice it's our it's a PIM file now, it's not a PMD or a PMG, because this automatically converts it and open it opens it directly from an SES. So you never have to touch the conversion part. So all you have to do now is select this, export the selection. Always want to make sure this is selected here. Not the scene, the selection. So we select the bumper. Always important to select the root. We've navigated to the correct export path. We press export. So now when you go over here to the bumper, you'll see at 1030, which it's 1030 now, I exported this bumper. All right, so that's still in the middle format though. We haven't brought it to the format that we need for the game. That's done by the conversion tools. So you always want to wipe your data in the conversion tools. If you're starting off fresh, we're not using any custom paths. We're not doing anything like that. Converting the current SCS project. Now you saw the window come up quick. It only converted one thing, so it didn't have to do much work. Now we're gonna come over here Um, actually, we can do this. We can do some mod packing. So we'll call this uh, uh, 389, whoops, 389 
bumper edit. So that's my mod packing folder. 3D9 bumper edit. Now you don't have to do this, you can do this manually. Um, so zip uncompressed, although we could moderate zip, but either way. Um, and then pack. There we go, mod pack two here. So let's go over here and have a look at it. So this packed the everything that I needed. The bumper is there. And the auto map files for the bumper are also there. Which tell me that the uh, what the details are of the truck and all that stuff. So that's all good. So now all I have to do is cut this. We'll copy it, <clears throat> just for giggles. And we will go to, I think I put this in here already, so we'll fix that, delete that, and paste it in there. Do a quick refresh, there it is, 389 bumper edit. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's go in here. Um, Activate the mod, go to the bumper edit, make sure it's in the mods list. Doesn't have to be at the top, but it should be in there. Continue the game. And then we're going to go to the browser to see if this worked or not. So it starts on the 389, so that's cool. Go to the bumper. You'll see here, it's shaved. See, that one's got them, that one doesn't. That one does, that one doesn't. So our edit worked. There's no, there's no errors in the log with the bumper. Don't excuse these, of course, but um, there's no error in the log regarding the 3d9 bumper that we're choosing so all the pathing is correct um, so that's a quick way to do some edits to your truck if you so desire um, I hope this guy this uh, helps you guys with some quick edits to some trucks I know that a lot of you aren't too fond of doing the pre-converting and the post conversion and all of this copying and pasting and all this stuff um, what I do is um, the, the way that I do it is definitely for building from scratch that's the most important part is to use it for that um, but doing your quick edits and stuff like that it's not really feasible it's it's pretty difficult this converter picks, picks rack, wrapper definitely takes um, a huge 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 amount of um, time and energy and weeding through errors and all kinds of other things so um, I hope this uh, hope this helps you if you have any questions about using it let me know um, again make sure please please make sure that you are setting all of these up um, this is extremely important for doing doing it this way it has all the information that the game needs um, the shader presets the especially the shader presets and the material database um, that will help the game pull the information from the base file properly without any TOBJ errors and uh, texture errors. So um, let me know how you work out with this one, and uh, we'll see you for the next one. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.